An Indigenous community in Queensland is working to rebuild one of the country's first Aboriginal art ventures. The Berenberg Potters is reforming 30 years after it closed and locals from Sherberg in the state southwest hope it'll again put their artwork on the international stage. Reviving a famous era in Sherberg's history, each stroke forming part of a story. It's been 30 years since the town produced its renowned pottery. Residents are now trying to bring it back and have secured funding to display and sell their work at an exhibition. I think they're very excited and they want to keep going and hope it grows, you know, from what they're doing now to get a, a, a pottery up and going again. The Baraba Potters was Queensland's first commercial Indigenous art venture. Thousands of plates, bowls and ceramic art was sold to tourists across the world from the late 1960s. But in 1987, a falling out with the government saw it close and dozens of jobs were lost. And it kind of affected everyone as far as employment. Yeah, like taking away all the infrastructure of uh, a lot of the enterprise with the pottery. Morris, tell me about this piece. Well, this piece is about uh, an emu nest and how the emus cover over their eggs to hide it. Morris Michelo was one of the original artists. He's returned to continue telling his stories. It's about uh, yeah, teaching our young people uh, the traditional ways we used to collect our food and um, look after the country and that. Rocco Langton was also one of the old gang. Yeah, it's uh, island scenery, you know, uh, uh, pretty much where my mum was born. He's thrilled at the chance to tap into a younger creative force, starting with his own daughter. I think it's important to me because it's a part of culture and a part of who we are. It's a part of storytelling for me. A large focus of this project is about remembering the past, but it's also about looking to the future and creating a new commercial venture for the next generation. I'd love to do that um, one day, turn, my, turn it into a career, you know. Local potter Faye Stum makes the ceramics for the artists to paint. The group is hoping to sell enough to buy their own wheel. So they'd like to um, continue on and, and pot. Um, they're very enthusiastic and uh, they're there every week, nice and early. Very exciting for the Sherberg as a community too, to bring them pots back and get well known again. Honouring the past with an eye on the future. Alison Horn, ABC News, Sherberg.